What's up guys, welcome to the video. Um, so I'm gonna be talking pretty quick in this one because I wanna get through a lot of information pretty quickly, but I'm gonna give you a little bit of a showcase of what I've been working on uh, for the past week and a half, two weeks or so, just off and on. Um, I've been working on an MCC menu mod, if you will, that I just wanted to make for myself and I figure a lot of other people probably want their MCCs to be kind of similar, um, if not exactly the same. So. I figured I would release it as a mod on Google Drive that you can just download and drag into your movies folder. So super, super easy to understand, super easy to actually install. First of all, I'm just gonna show you how to actually install the mod. So if you're just, this is the tutorial and then I'm gonna show you what it looks, what it looks like after. Maybe that's a little backwards, but anyways. I'm uploading the files currently to Google Drive. Um, this is going to be a full blown, uh, you know, it's going to be fully saturated with files, uh, all 11 of them, I believe, when this video is published and you are seeing it. So, so this is the folder that you're going to get. This is what you're actually going to receive in the mod. Um, it's going to be every single one of these modified videos for MCC. To install this, all you have to do is download it from Google Drive. Um, if you want access to the Google Drive, join my Discord. Um, you can leave afterwards if you want, but join the Discord. <laughs> and uh, go to the channel marked something. It'll be pretty damn obvious because it'll be the most recent uh, announcement probably. So uh, you're gonna take all of these, your, your newly downloaded folder of MCC menus, okay? You're gonna take all these and you are going to copy, okay? You're gonna copy these raw files, okay? Don't, don't copy the menu like this. Don't do that, no. You wanna go into the folder and you wanna copy every single file individually like that. Okay, now that you've done that, you wanna go over to your Steam. You want to go over to your MCC. You're going to go to manage. You're going to right click. And then you go to manage. Then you're going to go to browse local files. Okay. Hope you're keeping up so far. I know I'm going fast. Maybe I'm not. Whatever. Um, okay. So now that we're here. So you, you have the mod folder right here. And you have what we just opened with Steam from MCC here. So now that you are here, um, you're going to go to MCC folder right there. Okay. You're going to go to that one. Then you're going to go to content. Then you're going to go to movies. Okay, so this is what your MCC is currently running. So if you start up your MCC, uh, these are the menus that are actually playing in the background of your MCC. Okay, so that's good stuff. But if you want to change it, all you're going to do is going to take the modded uh, files, if you will, um, with the same names, obviously, and you're just going to drag them in. You're going to say replace the files in the destination, and that's how you get the mod. Very, very simple, very, very easy. Hopefully I didn't glance over something while trying to go too quickly. Now that uh, we have done that, we're gonna start up the MCC and you're gonna see what the mod is actually like. Editing Noble here uh, from early in the morning. Uh, make sure to make a backup folder for your movies folder. Uh, don't just drag them in, don't just copy and paste them in um, until you've made a backup of what your current movie folder is already containing because that way if you drag all the files in or you copy and paste them in and something doesn't work you can just revert it back to normal and no one gets hurt <laughs> i don't know why i phrased it like that but yeah just make a backup so this is the intro screen replacing the uh 343 industries and microsoft intros Uh, by the way, I have my uh, resolution on OBS a little bit skewed towards a zoom in, so if anything looks a little bit weird, that's why. Uh, now that we're on the MCC, you can see that we are on the Halo Reach main menu with no actual UI in front of us um, that Reach would have given us originally in the uh, 360 or whatever version of the game. So um, it's just the background. It's also the music. So first thing with the music, guys is you're gonna to wanna to go to options and career, you wanna to go to settings, and you wanna to go to audio. Um, you wanna turn the menu music all the way down. If you have it up, you can hear right now that there's overlap with the original music that it wants to play and the actual music that it comes along with the menu itself, okay? So turn that all the way down and you won't have overlap. You want a good user experience, definitely do that. Now that we got that out of the way, um, we're gonna go over to the multiplayer menu here. Um, we're gonna go custom multiplayer and we're gonna be on reach. So it restarts the music. Yeah, okay, it's a little annoying. There's no way to really change that. We got the Halo Reach menu. 
because we're on Halo Reach. We are hovering over it. If you go elsewhere, you click around, you know, you're still going to be on Reach. That's cool. If you go to Halo Combat Evolved, you're going to be on the Halo Combat Evolved original menu. Um, this is the same for uh, Campaign and Forge as well, guys, by the way. I just chose the multiplayer menu because I wanted to go over this right here, which is the Halo 2 Classic and Halo 2 Anniversary uh, menus. They're the same thing. There's no difference in menu here. I couldn't make them different. It's just one file that you can customize, and this is what I could do with it. So um, these are the same one, but it's the original Halo 2 uh, main menu and music. So... Uh, you go down, and you have the Halo 3 menu, main menu and music. All the original sound effects and everything. Um, so you'll see, like, the Banshees go by in a second. That's same everything. It's the main menu of Halo 3, just without the actual UI in front of us. So, uh, moving on. Uh, I, I actually want these Banshees to go by. Okay, yeah, hopefully you heard that with me talking over it. <laughs> uh, if you go down to Halo 4... Uh, we have the Halo 4 original main menu. Um, this is the highest quality version I could find. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's slightly pixelated. I think it was like 480p or something. Um, video is from 2012. So, um, best version I could find. I will update this. Uh, if anybody has like a better quality version of the Halo 4 menu, uh, main menu, definitely let me know. Because I will replace it with a higher quality like 4K version or whatever. So, you'll see here that we have the main main menu. Um, as just Halo Reach. Uh, I don't have it as Halo 3, Halo 2, Halo 1, whatever. Um, it's just Halo Reach because I feel like that was more of a multiplayer-focused, multiplayer-centric game that um, I think a lot of people liked. I, you know, obviously it had its issues, but I think it was kind of the last really, really good uh, thing that we had for Halo. I mean, obviously, lots of opinions would probably disagree with that, but um, Halo Reach is probably the last Halo that I really, really enjoyed. The campaign menus, um, you'll see ODST here as well. We do have a menu for that. There is not any music there. Um, it's kind of a long explanation as to why I did not have music on this one and I can't actually put it in. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. There's no music there. Um, if someone can find me a version with music, there is the ambience of the original menu with, with this uh, visual menu, but uh, there's not uh, any music, unfortunately, and again, I couldn't add it for uh, a multitude of reasons. So, anyways, uh, that is there, but no music, unfortunately. One other thing is if you go to social games and you click on play and you start searching, we have the original Halo Reach ambient menu. And the last menu, uh, certainly not least in my opinion, because I really love it and it's an actual custom one, is um, the customization screen. So every single tile here... Um, actually doesn't have a menu. It's just Halo Reach or, you know, the original menu that you have installed right now. It's just the same one all throughout these. So that being the case, um, the only one that actually is changed is the customization menu. Um, it is Halo Reach, a Forge World. Again, you know, Halo Reach was kind of like the on the forefront for this mod. I, I liked the Halo Reach aesthetic and everything about it really, um, other than armor lock and bloom, but the art design, everything was very, very nice, very, very good. Just really, really loved Halo Reach's Forge World, um, all the good times that I had on Reach, it was very, very, very good. So I used Reach as a template, and so here you can see that you have your Spartan standing on the right here in the grass, um, the shadow effects are done well enough by 343 that, you know, I didn't add that there. I also um, have my character in the background. She's kind of standing guard. I think it's pretty cool. I hope you guys like the mod. Um, obviously, if you don't, you know, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to download it, but I think it's really, really awesome. I wanted to give a quick announcement before I go as well. Um, I am working on a really, really big Halo video and I have been for probably like the past year and I said it was going to be out before Halo Infinite came out, but that was a complete lie. Lots of work to do on that video and... Gosh, honestly, I have no release date and it might come out years from now. I don't know. Um, and it might not even be that big of a video, if I'm honest. But it's a, it's a video that I'm kind of nervous about making. Basically, like half of my childhood just being centered around playing Halo. Aside from that, uh, again, guys, the uh, mod will be in my Google Drive and everybody will have access to it um, if you join the Discord. So just join the Discord. You should have access to the channel with the Google Drive link. And then uh, you can just 
grab it for yourself, drag the files in. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully you guys, you guys enjoy the mod and um, I will see you guys on the next one.